Standing for Jesus Ministries. Stand up for Jesus. I'm going to stand up and praise his name. I'm going to stand up for Jesus. So I'm so glad he died for me. And now thanks to him I've been set free. Stand up for Jesus. I'm gonna stand up and praise his name. I'm gonna stand up for Jesus. And now let us hear the word of God. Standing for Jesus Ministries is brought to you in part by the following. McDowell Professional Pharmacy. Call 377-1088. Well, I'm kind of homesick for a city to which I Standing for Jesus Ministries, we thank God for the song that we just heard. Thank God for just another day of life He's blessed us with. We feel good today in this filming, and we're hoping to be able to say something that would help you today. As we begin to get into the message, we begin to think how good God is to us, Brother Kurt. Amen. And God is a God of the living and not of the dead. We're not we're not just members. 
We begin to think we're not just members of some kind of organization or something or some church that just a little social gathering. But, buddy, when we gather together to worship God, the God in spirit and in truth, buddy, we're in a, we're in a special presence. Amen? And I believe that's the way we are here today. We're hoping to say something that would help you. And I want to tell you about this God, amen, that is more than able to help you in any situation that you're in, amen. That he is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And God will bless, I want to let you know, listen, that there's no kind of problem this world can offer in life. But listen, that you can't make it through if you only follow Jesus, amen. And we begin to think on the scripture, how that he said that, listen, a man would take and build his house, how, a listen upon the sinking sand, amen, and build his house upon the sand, and listen, the floods came. In other words, the troubles and stuff of the world come against one that's not based on the foundation of God. A listen, and things begin to happen, and things begin to go wrong, and everything begins to go wrong at one time. In other words, when the floods came, the house couldn't stand. <laughs> Amen. But I'm made to tell you that the Bible says that uh, the wise man, uh, listen, he took and he built his house upon, uh, listen, a solid rock. Uh, and he dug his foundation and laid it deep. Uh, listen, in other words, he was founded on Jesus. Uh, listen, when the winds and the stuff come uh, against the house, it stood the test of time. Uh, I want you to know, my friend, uh, we read all the way through the scriptures, everything that is said. Uh, listen, uh, every Every trouble that every man of God huh, that we read about in the scripture, man or woman of God, huh, that went through any kind of trouble, huh, you realize huh, it stood the test of time. Huh, Jesus always come through. Huh, God always blessed. Huh, listen, I believe it was David that said, huh, I was a young man huh, and now I'm old huh, and I've never seen the righteous forsaken or begging bread. Huh, and you never will, my friend, because God is more than able huh, to take care of every need. Uh, listen, uh, how do you get based upon this foundation uh, uh, that's already been laid? It's Jesus. Uh, you believe on the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, believe on him. Uh, uh, the Bible says in his name alone. Uh, uh, listen. In his name alone, uh, the devils has to flee. Uh, listen, uh, we was talking about this at work uh, the other day, me and a brother in the Lord. Uh, I was talking about, uh, uh, listen, the demon influences, uh, uh, the devil influences that's in this world today, uh, uh, the demons that are in uh, uh, the world uh, uh, that's got drugs and alcohol, uh, uh, that's got all these things that bound our children down, our young people. Uh, uh, listen, but I'm telling you about a God that is able uh, uh, to take those strong Strongholds uh, uh, that the devil's got against. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and he can break them strongholds. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, but people are afraid today. Uh, uh, listen, I'm telling you something, child of God. Uh, uh, we need to get a fire under us. Uh, uh, we need to be bold and tell people, uh, uh, listen, that God is God. And besides him, there is none other. Uh, we need to get a boldness about us. Uh, uh, be able to stand against the devil. Uh, and listen, say, uh, uh, listen, devil, uh, are you not taking my child? Uh, listen, plead the blood of Jesus upon them. Uh, listen, where are you going, preacher? Uh, well, I'll tell you where I'm going with it. Uh, listen, uh, the church takes a beating lots of times uh, because we sit back uh, and we do nothing. Uh, we get in a little comfort zone. Uh, we're comfortable sitting in our pews. Uh, we're comfortable sitting there saying a little amen every now and then. Uh, listen, but the Bible says uh, that the harvest is ripe, uh, but the laborers are few. Uh, listen, God says we need more laborers in the field, uh, them that are willing to stand up, uh, regardless of what circumstance comes against them. Uh, uh, listen, uh, and if we're built upon that right foundation, my friend, uh, uh, listen, I'm made to believe uh, uh, there's not enough devils in hell uh, uh, that can take anything away from you and I. Uh, they can't, he can't touch our salvation. Uh, uh, listen, he can't touch, uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, God's children. Uh, uh, listen, the Bible talks about the end of time, uh, about a man that would come. Uh, uh, listen, that uh, he would deceive uh, even the very elect if it were possible. Uh, uh, listen, but I'm going to tell you something, my friend. Uh, uh, listen, uh, if you get rooted and grounded in this word right here, uh, uh, listen, I don't believe uh, it's possible uh, uh, for you to be deceived uh, if you'll truly get in this word uh, and trust God uh, for what it says. Uh, uh, listen, make no mistake about it. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, try to translate things different ways. Uh, 
uh, they lean on to their own understanding. But God says, lean not to your own understanding. Uh, but God will give us the understanding when we seek it. Uh, amen. Uh, I'm a firm believer in that. I believe it's in Job. It says uh, that God put a spirit in man uh, that teaches us. Uh, listen, Jesus, when he went away, uh, Brother Curran, he said, I'll go away, but I will send you another comforter, and he will teach you of these things. Amen. Uh, listen. We get founded on the word of God and stand on it regardless. Listen, a lot of people today, listen, they like to play church. Playtime's over, my friend. Listen, there's coming a time the Bible tells me. Listen, that he leaves with all my heart. He's going to tell his son. Listen, my children have suffered enough. They've been put down, talked about. Listen, run down. Listen, they've done everything that I've told them to do. Them that are ready to go been washed in the blood of the Lamb. He's going to tell it one day for the curtain to come down. Listen, he's going to send them. He's going to say, go get them and bring them home. And the Bible says, listen, that the dead in Christ will rise first. Listen, my friend, that them that are alive and remain of the Christian people are going to rise up to meet the Lord in the air. Listen, where there'll never be no more tears to cry. Where there'll never be another person to take and put you down. I make fun of you. I listen or anything. I listen. Don't worry about the world today. We worry too much. I listen. Mankind, the devil, can only take your life if God permits. But he can't touch the soul, my friend. I listen. He can't touch what God has put down inside of God's children. But you got to stand strong. Amen. You got to stay on that foundation. I listen. I let him blow. I let him holler. I let him do what he wants to, but he can't destroy. I listen, when you're built upon the right foundation. Amen. Listen, I believe with all my heart we're living in the days. Listen to where God could call his children home any moment. Listen, we're living in a time right now. Listen, a word, listen. They make fun of God. Listen, they'll blaspheme the name of God. Listen and not even think twice about it. There's no fear of God in this world today. Listen, but that's all right. Listen, one day after a while, every man, woman, or child reaching the age of accountability that has had their chance to repent and chose not to will stand before an almighty God one day after a while and they'll either hear him say welcome in our good and faithful servant or one day they're going to say listen they're going to hear him say depart from me I never knew you listen Jesus, listen, he said God has never changed. He's the same today, yesterday, and forever. He was merciful then. Listen, but they come a time that he passed judgment. Amen. Listen, they come a time when the wickedness was all over the earth. Listen, they were regarding God. Listen, there was time that it got all over the earth, their wickedness. The thoughts were wicked all the time, according to the scripture. Listen, and he told a man, he said, I want you to take and listen, I want you to take and build a big old ark, a big old boat. Listen, he said, I want you to pitch it within and without. You think about that for a minute. Listen, when God saved you and cleansed you, he cleaned you within and without. Amen. Listen, he seals that up. Listen, just like the old, he told him, said, you put it inside and out. Listen, because some rough times is coming. You better get Jesus inside your heart, my friend. Because believe me, some rough times is coming. Listen, but there is glory. There is a time coming. Listen, it's going to be glorious. Can you imagine rolling over in your bed one day and your wife or your husband has disappeared? Listen, maybe all you see is clothes. I don't know how it's actually going to happen, but I know it's going to happen. And we're going to be called up to meet the Lord. Listen, and you can go if you want to go. Amen. Listen, I'm made to believe that that time is coming short. Uh, listen, he told him, said, you pitch it within and without. Uh, listen, then he did that boat. Uh, and there was a time there. Uh, I don't care what they try to preach to you. Uh, the Bible says... Uh, 
Listen, the God's spirit, he told Noah, said, my spirit will not always strive with man. And they come a time when that boat was finished. Listen, that they moved on the ark with all the animals that God told them to put on there. Listen, and God shut that door. And there was no man that could get in that once that ark door shut. Listen, in Revelations, my friend, it says, listen, that as long as the door is open, no man can close it. But once it's shut, no man can open it. I want you to know we're serving a merciful a God. But if you reject a so great a salvation that Jesus, if you reject Jesus as Lord and Savior, my friend, there's going to be no hope. Listen, there is only hope now. You know why I believe there's hope? Because God's children are still here. I believe God's children, those that are truly born again and living the life, I believe those prayers hinder what Satan is trying to do in this life. Listen, Listen, and I want you to know that one of these days when they're gone, listen, oh, Satan knows his time is short. And believe me, my friend, he wants a lot of it. He wants a lot to go to hell with him. Uh, listen, because he knows uh, that he's going to be in torment forever and ever. And you and I have got uh, the glory. I'll tell you what. Uh, listen, you don't know. A lot of the world don't understand what a blessing it is. Uh, just to be able to walk into a church house and lift your hands up and know that you're on your way to heaven. Uh, knowing that the God you're serving is not something like a dead tree that somebody might pray to. Uh, listen, I know for a fact uh, listen that the God that I serve is true, my friend. Uh, listen, he's there for you and I. Uh, listen, we've only got to reach out and touch him. Uh, listen, the old song says, reach out and touch him as he walks by. Amen. I remember the woman. I listened and had the issue of blood. What happened to her? I listened. She had her mind made up as he was walking through the crowd. If I could only get to him and touch him, I know I'd be made whole. And she reached out and touched him and he stopped. And he began to look at the crowd and he said, somebody touched me. They said, Lord, everybody's around you. Of course they touched you. He said, no, somebody touched me because I perceived his virtue has went out. I'm telling you, my friend, seek the Lord while he may be found. Because I don't care what they try to teach you. They're trying to found. But listen, and you won't have that opportunity. Today is the day of salvation, not tomorrow. Tomorrow may never get here for you and I. The world may stand a long time yet. I don't know. But listen, I doubt it very much. But I'm telling you something for you and I. We need to act now. Seek the Lord while it is day for our work. As children of God, we need to work while it's day. Because the Bible says when night comes, no man works. We don't stumble in the day, but you stumble at night. Work while it's day. You imagine Jesus, what he did for you. And the lamb led to the slaughter. The Bible says he opened not his mouth. He didn't say one word. But he said that he did it. When he said it is finished. He said, Father, forgive him. He forgave. But I tell you what, there's enough blood shed that day on that cross from the day that salvation come through Christ to the last person that will ever have a chance. Listen, there's enough shed to do every bit of that, to cover every sin. We just have to accept it. Listen, I tell you what, how dare <laughs> Listen, I get a little aggravated sometimes, I know. It's of my nature, but you know, I like to see. Listen, and I'm not I'm not one of these preachers that's going to be afraid to say something that's not politically correct. Or it's all these things that people say, well, you shouldn't say that. But I'm going to tell you something. How dare you people sit out there and tell people that there's more ways to heaven than Jesus Christ. The Bible says there's only one name given, and that's Jesus. He's the only way, the truth, and the life. How dare you? people, Scientology people stand out there and tell people listen, that we're all gods that we can do, achieve godhood. Listen, how dare Muslims teach what they teach. Listen, how dare you? I want you to know listen, that you're going to take people to hell with you on what you're teaching. I'm telling you, salvation comes only through Jesus Christ. Listen, without him you're never going to make it to heaven. But with him, you're going to be able to stand everything that the 
the devil tries to throw against you. Uh, listen, I don't care if it's a problem with drugs. I don't care if it's alcohol. I don't care if it's lust, pride, or whatever that problem is. My God is greater than that problem. And he can get you. Uh, listen, I watched a program one time, and I told my wife how great it's going to be. I watched a little girl uh, jump in the arms that's supposed to be Jesus because she wanted to hug him so much. Uh, listen, uh, you know something? Uh, you and I will get chances for stuff like that if we'll just hold on uh, to what God has given you. Uh, if you're saved and on your way to heaven, you hold on. Uh, the Bible says that we're going to be able to stand back uh, and we're going to be able to sing a song. Uh, the angels are going to have to stand back and listen. Uh, you talk about a blessing. Uh, you talk about a blessing. Jesus took the disciples and he went. Brother Kearney went and he told them. He began to wash their feet. When they had the, the Passover with them, they went and he said, I'll not drink this wine until I drink it new with you in heaven. Can you imagine sitting down and having communion with the Lord? Can you imagine how Peter felt when Peter refused? Lord, you ain't going to wash my feet. You know what he told him? He said, if I don't wash you not, Peter, you have no part with me. You know what he said? That's the case, Lord, not just my feet, but my head, my hands. All over me, Lord. And that's the way I feel. I want everything God has got for me. Because you know something? Time is coming short. And listen, a lot of people today are playing church. If you're playing church, my friend, listen. Get right with God. Listen. I don't care what organization you go to. People try to say, well, I believe in this and I believe in that. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Amen? The Bible's the same standard for every one of us. But listen, you want to learn what God's got for you? Let the Spirit teach you. Pray for the understanding. I know none of us understand it all. Listen, but I know what I've got is real. I know that the God I serve is the same one that rode the waters back for the children of Israel. I can move any obstacle out of my way. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the same God, listen, it fed the 5,000 and will put food on my table when I'm hungry. But listen, all that's secondary. And the Bible says if we'll seek the Lord with our whole heart, soul, mind, and strength, he would take care of all these other things. Listen, so let's put him first. Listen, we'll see what happens in our life. The Bible says he's got storehouses of blessings for the church. Listen, just wait to put on his children. Listen, if we'd only seek him with our whole heart, Oh, I'm telling you, my friend, today is the day of salvation. What you building your foundation on? Listen, what have you listened to? Has somebody told you? Listen, we talked to one the other day that said, oh, there's many ways to God. No, they ain't. Listen, don't listen to that stuff. Don't listen to the garbage the world has got to preach to you. But listen to the word that Jesus sent. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through him by me. Listen, we mentioned a little ago about the Antichrist when he comes on the scene. Listen, the Bible says, listen, that he's going to stand in the temple himself and proclaim himself to be God. Listen, there'll be many that'll follow him. Listen, I want you to know people's got to realize uh, Brother Kirk that they crucified uh, the only gate to heaven. Uh, Judas, the very day he was betrayed. Uh, Brother Kirk, he kissed the very door of heaven. Uh, listen, uh, and I want you to know, uh, listen, that uh, he didn't get to go into heaven. Uh, listen, uh, he said you betray the Son of Man with a kiss. Uh, people are betraying God for a lot less than that today, my friend. Uh, listen, uh, what is it in this world that's worth dying for? Uh, you tell me that. Uh, you tell me uh, uh, what's worth uh, uh, dying for the pill uh, that'll make you high for just a little moment for the curd. Uh, I don't understand how that uh, can make somebody uh, uh, feel so good. Uh, but you want to know what feels good? Uh, uh, listen, uh, 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 listen, when the Spirit of God begins to move along some, sometimes, uh, uh, listen, you feel like, uh, oh, buddy, you're on fire. Uh, uh, listen, but I want to tell you something. Uh, I think the uh, blessings we get here uh, is nothing I don't know what he's got waiting for us up there one day after a while, Brother Kurt. But we've got to do it. We've 
got to adore for the ear. Up shoulder, Lord, above. Hold on with everything you got. The way Hold on with everything you got because we are going to stand by We're going to be able to sing around the throne of God. If we hold on. Hold on. this way, but it's the truth. Try God. If you don't like him, the devil will take you back. But I think you'll love him. I think you'll like him. You know why? Because he's preparing a way for you to escape eternal punishment. I know you are. He's preparing a way. I don't like to say it that way, but it is the truth. The devil will take you back. But you've got to get a hold of that plow and hold on with everything that you've got. I hope that we can get something to help you. Listen, I desire your prayers for this program. Seems like God bless it more and more in the preaching. We're only able to stay on a couple of Sundays a month. I want to get back to each every Sunday again. I want you to pray for us that we can do that. No, I'm not asking you to send anything. I'm asking your prayers. Because I believe the Bible says that the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Tuning in, I thank you for praying. I believe we got people praying for the prayer. I'd say there's a few out there that may not care a little too much, but you know, nevertheless, the devil don't care. The devil don't want the gospel preached. And our goal is to try to reach the lost for Jesus. For any other reason we was doing it, it'd be a waste of time. I hope and pray.
Listen, send in your prayer request. There'll be a number on the screen and stuff. We do pray, and we're going to agree with you in prayer on the things. We do believe in the power of prayer. Thank you, and God bless you.